The Minnesota Timberwolves are on an impressive streak lately. They've only lost once in their last eight games and are currently on a four-game winning streak. They share the top spot in the Western Conference standings with the Oklahoma City Thunder, boasting a record of 5-1, double two. In this team, the pieces have finally come together in a way that roles are defined, and everyone is playing to their strengths. Anthony Edwards has emerged as a true leader on the court, especially after his performances at the FIBA World Cup. He's averaging 2-6.2 points along with five rebounds and assists. While Carl Anthony Towns has been sidelined due to a knee injury, the rest of the team has been able to compensate for his absence and continue performing well. Rudy Gobert excels defensively, while veteran Mike Conley does exactly what he was brought in to do. He's a silent leader on the court and in the locker room, contributing significantly with his experience. The Minnesota Timberwolves are riding a wave of fantastic results. If they want to maintain this momentum, it's crucial for them to impose their tempo on the game against the Chicago Bulls, shoot three-pointers at a high percentage, and have Rudy Gobert establish control in defensive rebounds to prevent second-chance opportunities for the Bulls. The Chicago Bulls have only managed to win once in their last five games against the Indiana Pacers. They currently hold a record of 35 to 39 and are ninth in the Eastern Conference standings. It's certain that they will compete in the play-in tournament. Considering that the injured trio of Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, and Patrick Williams has been out for some time, it's not surprising to see a dip in the form of the Chicago Bulls. It's simply challenging for individuals who are dealing with fatigue to maintain a high level of performance consistently. DeMar DeRozan has been the most consistent player on this team, averaging 23 points and nearly six assists per game. Nikola Vucevic has been steady in the paint with an average double-double of 18 points and 1.06 rebounds per game. Ayo Dosunmu recently scored a career-high 35 points in the NBA. Andre Drummond, as a veteran, also contributes, but the team lacks the necessary depth. If the Chicago Bulls want to disrupt the good form and gameplay of the Minnesota Timberwolves, they must first slow down the pace to their advantage because otherwise they won't be able to match their opponent. Additionally, it remains to be seen if they'll have enough players in rhythm with their three-point shooting, which could make a difference in this game. It's interesting to note that out of the last three games between these teams, two went into overtime. The Chicago Bulls won twice, while the Minnesota Timberwolves won once. Absences and injuries. Carl Anthony Towns and Jalen Clark will not be playing in this game for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, Patrick Williams, and Javante Green are injured for the Chicago Bulls. The Minnesota Timberwolves have been exceeding all expectations, and as the icing on the cake before this game, they gained a significant boost in confidence by defeating the Denver Nuggets, the reigning NBA champions. On the other hand, the Chicago Bulls, plagued by numerous injury issues, lack any sort of continuity, and are currently in a somewhat poorer run of results, facing the top team in the Western Conference standings. We anticipate the win for the Minnesota Timberwolves by a margin greater than the offered spread. Our prediction is Minnesota Timberwolves minus 5.5.